In this video, we will discuss how to prepare a quote on zero in three simple steps. If you haven't yet, click the bell and subscribe to be notified every time we produce our best pieces of content. Go to business. Select quote. And then select new quote. You can also click the plus sign in zero. Then select quote. Just fill in the details of the quote starting from the contact. Add the date. Add the expiry date of the quote. If you could also be specific in the description, then that would be better so that the customer can easily know what they're quoted for. Put the quantity and the amount, and do not forget the account so that it will be categorized accordingly by zero. If you've already set up a category in zero, you can easily select it from the item list here, and zero will populate the data for you. You can click the drop down list in Save if you want to save this quote, or save and add another. You can also click the drop down list in Send if you want to send or mark as sent. If the quote is ready, you can click Send. Check the message, and then add the email of the customer, and hit Send if you're happy with it. If you select Mark as Sent, it adds a note to the audit trail so you can recognize an invoice sent outside of zero. For Step 2, you may want to check the quote if it has been declined or accepted by clicking Business. Then click Quote. If the quote was accepted, then you can now make this quote an invoice. Go to the Accepted tab to complete Step 3, which entails converting the quote into an invoice. Open the quote, select Create Invoice. Check the box and then click Create to accomplish this. Zero will now create an invoice using the data from the quote. You may want to review the invoice for any more alterations, and you are still welcome to provide specific details. Check, then click Approve an email. Verify the information, and if you're satisfied, click Send. And that's it. Here's how to prepare a quote on zero in three simple steps. Thank you for watching.